Welcome back to The Dish. I'm so excited about our next guest. His name is Havard Ussery, and you may find him a little familiar. He is a third generation to take over Fat Man's Cafe, and he also just happened to star on the show Food Network star, and so he's here to talk to us about his experience on the show. Thank you so much for being here, Havard. Good to be here. And so I, I just want to say, first of all, I am so proud of you. We're all excited. We're all going to be rooting for you on the Food Network star. And so I wanted to bring you on and kind of just get to know how the experience went for you. But first, I think it's it's probably a good idea to tell people what the Food Network star is. Give us a little bit of background on the show. Yes, yeah, so the show is a competition. Mm -hmm. uh, starts out with 12 finalists. We went through 15 to 12 to 15 rounds of interviews to wow. get there. Mm -hmm. um, the winner of the show gets a cookbook deal with Food Network, also gets their own show with okay. the Food Network. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of monetary values there, but yeah. just a just a cool experience. Yeah, and how exciting is that um, to potentially get your own show? Now the filming has wrapped, yep. so you know what happened. Obviously, we don't, sort and you're of. gonna have to, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have to watch in order to find out what happens on the show. Now the first show just aired. Um, May 22nd. May 22nd aired. just aired. And so when, I mean, will this happen every week or how yeah, does that a, work? Yeah, it's a weekly show. goes all the way into August. Okay. Um, so, you know, got to stay tuned. You got to stay tuned <laughs> to find out if he goes all the way. And then, I mean, you guys would start probably right away filming this new show. Yeah, so you'd have, you'd have your pilot and then you'd get okay. started right away. So you get to choose what your show's about or how does that work? Yeah, so the end of the competition, whoever those finalists are that are left will actually shoot a pilot for whatever their show concept would be. What would yours be? Um, you know, I am a catering and event geared person, mm -hmm. so I would have kind of a, um, a design aspect to the show, kind okay. of a HGTV, can we flip this space to be whatever it needs to be for an event, but oh, also matching like the that. food and catering to it. So yeah. it'd be a kind of a restaurant and possible meets, uh, that's really cool. meets HGTV. That is a good idea. And that's those are really popular shows right now. Yeah. And then add food in there. I mean, who would be upset about that? Um, and you actually did love y'all's food at Fat Man's. You guys well, did you. my um, rehearsal, rehearsal dinner, dinner for the wedding. So they're great. If you haven't been there yet, you have to go. So tell me, what can we expect? throughout the season what is it that you had to go through specifically oh what what didn't we what go did through? you do right <laughs> um, so there's tons of challenges anything from like chopped mystery ingredients to um, cooking in front of a full theater presenting your 30 second cold open for whatever your show would be so the challenges are absolutely endless as yeah. far as what could go on um, but it is, the experience was, was just so incredible. And so really you guys are competing with your food, but also having to compete as though you're creating or producing your own show. Presenting too. Presenting so there is like the camera challenges for yeah. every food challenge that goes that on. That can be so, challenging in itself, yes, right? To very, get in front of the camera very, and try so and talk and be the, yourself. <laughs> the, the comfort in front of the camera thing was a complete challenge for yeah. me. So, uh, you know, you gotta. Well, you're you doing great up. so far, right? <laughs> so, if you guys want to watch Havard, you can. It's on the Food Network, That's so it. it's called the Food Network Star. But do not go anywhere because when we come back, we're actually gonna step into the kitchen and he's gonna help me try and work up some recipes for Baby Boston. So we'll be right back. Welcome back to The Dish. If you're just joining us, I'm on set with Havard Ussery. He's the chef and owner of Fat Man's Cafe. And he also just, well, the show just premiered last week, but he is a contestant on the Food Network Star, so we're super excited that you're on set with us today. Yeah. Um, we just kind of went over the whole experience, and now we're in the kitchen because you're going to give me a tip or two um, on some recipes for Baby Boston. Yeah, so I have a 15-month-old, yeah. Hudson, a little girl, and um, the stage that she's in right now, it's, she can use her hands to eat things, <laughs> uh -huh. or you're sitting there with a fork because, you know, they don't know yeah. how to use a utensil yeah, yet. yet. So we're always trying to modify, my wife and I are always trying to modify adult tasting recipes mm -hmm. for the baby. Yeah, and um, how cool is that though? Because you can make your food and not have to make something separate for her. It's, it's something that she can eat as well. You can eat it and you can just lay it out on her mm -hmm. tray, a hundred pieces of it and That's can go at go. it. <laughs> and uh, you know, what we have today is a sweet potato hash that we're going to do. 
And uh, I'm just going in sweet potatoes here with some uh, salt, uh, melted butter. Okay. And we'll soften up these sweet potatoes. You can also do this with carrots, with butternut squash, regular potatoes. A variety you know, of different. Yeah, root vegetables that they can, um, they can also chew because my 15 month old is still uh, toothless at this point. I was going to say, does she have teeth yet? No, probably <laughs> so, not. And what we do is, uh, um, what we call in the kitchen is a medium yeah. dice. So it's just small enough for, you know, Heard baby to put in the mouth. But it's complex, <laughs> complex enough flavors for us adults to enjoy as to well. To enjoy as well, yep. So we're going to have these sweet potatoes saute for just a second. We're also going to add uh, some bacon, mm -hmm. some Parmesan some cheese. Bacon. And then we're going to deglaze with a little bit of chicken stock just to okay. get uh, the pieces up off the bottom okay. of the pan and soften up the potatoes a bit. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to add some bacon at the end just for love bacon. a little Who bit of crunch bacon, and right? everything's better with bacon. You know, I was thinking back to the last time that we had you on the show, we were announcing that you were pregnant, well not you, <laughs> you were pregnant. We were having a baby. You guys were pregnant and expecting and so now she's 15 months. Time does fly by. Flies right? by. That Absolutely. is crazy. So any parenting Don't advice blink. for me? Don't know. blink. Really. <laughs> any and parenting advice? You know, no advice, but all your experiences in life, being successful, mm -hmm. you and Ryan being successful, but there's nothing greater than having a child. Like yeah. it is just the most amazing experience that, that you'll so ever sweet. have. That is so um, sweet. So we're going to soften up these mm -hmm. potatoes. If you will grate a grate little bit parmesan. of Parmesan cheese for me. Yeah, I can't me. screw this one up, right? You got it. <laughs> you can handle not, it. Right? You can handle it. So just it. like this, how much do you want? Um, just a little bit. Just, just a handful little. to put in here to melt. Okay. Let's I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in here and garlic powder. Yeah. So you're putting some garlic in there. You're introducing your baby to some, some, some other flavors. Yeah. Yeah, keep it going. Okay. And so Food Network star... You know, we just talked about it, but for those of you who are just tuning in, you can catch it on which day of the week so that everybody knows. Sundays at 9 p.m. Sundays, so at, Sundays 9 PM. at 9 p.m. Tune in. And I think there's a couple reruns during the week as well okay. you can check out. So we're so excited to find out how you did because obviously the, the show has wrapped, but we it can't has. talk about what happened. <laughs> but we're hoping that you go all the way. And if you do. I'll grab this from me. Did I do good? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> there you perfect. go. Perfect. We're hoping that you go all the way um, and that you get your own show. I hope I did as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll film right here in this studio. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to melt this Parmesan cheese in here with the sweet potatoes. It smells so good. Get it nice and melted. We can add this bacon as well. Mm-hmm. Mix that up. Mix it up. Let these potatoes soften. And that's nice, nice and healthy for the most part, right? Yeah. <laughs> for the game. You can hold off on the bacon if you want. Give me turkey bacon. There you go. Turkey right? bacon. Love some work. turkey bacon. I like to go for the real thing. Yeah. <laughs> then we're going to add parsley. I chose parsley just because it doesn't really change the mm -hmm. uh, flavor profile, especially okay. with a baby. Yeah. Um, it, but you could also do thyme. You could do basil. Mm -hmm. You could add a lot of different things in here when it comes I mean, to the fresh herb. That looks so then good. Then we're going to deglaze with a little bit of chicken stock, and that'll help soften up those potatoes. Right. And there you go. It'll be. Well, when we come back, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. I might inv invite one of my best friends who's, here's from, who's here from Kentucky to try it out for me, too. Well, feet are good. All right. Oh, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we are going to have some more. So there's been some helpful tips. So thank you so much. And don't forget to watch him on the Food Network Star. We'll be right back. Local celeb chef and owner Havard Ussery from Fat Man's Cafe is on set with me. We're also joined by my best friend Maria Montgomery. Hey. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Okay. Long time coming. I know. Okay, so we are so excited for you because you are just now competing on the Food Network Star, which is a fantastic show that hopefully if you win, you have to watch to find out, <laughs> you'll get your own show. Yep, right here in Augusta, Georgia. Yes, that's awesome. right. Maybe in this studio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take over my I said, watch out, Anna. Do you want this? No. Right. Cool, yeah. we can partner up. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll host with you. <laughs> but today we actually did a quick recipe. Um, you gave me some helpful tips for Baby Boston that's on the way. Yeah, we've got um, a sweet potato hash with a little bit of melted Parmesan, parsley, and some bacon as well, and uh, you know, it's good finger food for yeah. the baby. Gonna try it? Absolutely. She's gonna try it out. Let's do it here. 
Now you love sweet potato. I love sweet potatoes. You potato. do? And who doesn't That's like good. bacon? So. All right. Yeah. She knows me I well. mean, that looks so good. I'll take it a little does. bit too. Try it out. You gotta feed Boston. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you try that, that out. You let us know. So tell us about the experience on the show again for those of us that may be just tuning in. Tell yeah. us what happened. It was a absolute whirlwind, but a, an amazing experience. A, an opportunity that I didn't see see coming, yeah. but uh, you know, one th I grew up somewhat in front of the camera with my brother being a director, yeah. and then I love to cook. It's what I do for a living. Yeah. So, you know, it's a great combination yeah. and great opportunity. Why not take it, right? It. So, we are so excited for you, and that is really good. This isn't is it? delicious. Well, Absolutely I'm delicious. It. The bacon is a great touch for yeah. sure. I'm gonna and eat some. I love it. I know. And my niece Chai actually loves food. sweet potatoes chopped like this, too. So it would be good. And so she would, if they were like this, she would love it. Totally love mm -hmm. it, right? And like you said, I mean, this is something simple. You're cooking for the family. It's right. it's great for the kid kids as well. It is. And then the adults enjoy it, too. There's mm -hmm. some different complex flavors in there. And yeah. you're introducing those flavors to a baby who, exactly. you know, right. hopefully grow up and like those things. Yeah, and then become a chef like you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're so proud of you again. Well, we're so excited you. to thank watch. Thank you for having me. Yes, absolutely. And so don't forget to watch Havard on the Food Network Star. And again, it's every Sunday. There'll be some re-airs re airs during the week, but the it's week. Sunday at 9 o'clock on the Food Network. Sunday at 9 o'clock, so be sure to tune in. And if you need any more information, you can go to the dish on 6com Thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to do good and be good. We'll see you next time.